Toronto Police Service is committed to protecting the citizens of Toronto from all types of crime. We also recognize there has been a trend of late indicating increases of financial related crimes within our city and around the world. With the growing use and advancement in technology, the world has become a smaller to everyone, including the criminals. The Financial Crimes Unit, formerly known as the Fraud Squad, is dedicated to combating these offenders in partnership with the private and public sectors of our community. Our goal, in particular, is to make it difficult for them to conduct business in our city. On behalf of the Toronto Police Service, I am pleased to announce the engagement of a public awareness program. This common sense approach will ensure that Toronto citizens are armed with a little bit of knowledge that will insulate them from falling prey of any type of financial crime. Detective Robert Whelan, batch 5940 of 55 Division. Some of the products I deal with is mostly in the counterfeit uh, industry. A lot of people like the iPhone 4s, a lot of people are out shopping for them. These particular iPhones come in the nice fancy new boxes, they have all the proper labeling and stuff on the bottom. However, a quick look when you start to open the phone, it's in the nice packaging, but it starts to get a little odd. It feels a little light. It's not quite right. The buttons are a little wide. Uh, if you actually power this phone on, only an hourglass will come up. The phone will never actually turn on. If you contact a cellular provider and give them the IMEI number, which identifies every phone in the world with a unique number, this IMEI number is absolutely identical to the other phone's IMEI number. You'll never get that with a legitimate phone. As a consumer, you must be aware that you have to try to buy cellular phone products at legitimate cellular phone stores. If you don't go to a legitimate cellular phone store, if you wish to shop online, you're going to have to do your homework. You're going to have to uh, go to the internet, type in iPhone 4, type in fake. You'll get web various websites telling you how to identify a counterfeit product. Um, I would suggest that you don't buy any high-end products over the internet unless you've really done your homework in regards to the seller and the product itself. And if you suspect anybody for uh, selling these fraudulent things, what you should do? What should you do? You should do two things. One, you should contract the individual manufacturer, such as Apple, uh, for this particular product, or Sony, or Canon, whatever product you're dealing with. You should then immediately contact your local police department and advise them of the counterfeit product. Um, some of the higher end companies, if you ship them back. If you seized a counterfeit Apple, if you purchased a counterfeit Microsoft product, let's say, and you send that product back to Microsoft and tell them where you purchased it from, they will assist you in getting a genuine product. It's in your best interest and it's in the company's best interest to identify the source of this counterfeit. The police would like to prosecute these people, so the more assistance you can be to the police about how you purchased it, where you purchased it, when you purchased it, will assist us in our investigations. No. Anonymous tips to Crime Stoppers are very effective. Uh, if we get a tip of a particular store selling a counterfeit product, I'll walk into that store, I'll have a quick look around. Uh, we have officers that are trained in the identification of products. We can generally, within a couple of seconds, identify a counterfeit product and prosecute that individual.